What's going on, guys? This is Riggs from Clashing FFS bringing you a brand new video. And what I'm going to be showing you guys, something insane happened in our war in FYSB when we went ahead. It, we just wrapped up a war against Black Apple. And wait until you guys see the two attacks I have to feature. They are the attacks that I did this war and how it's possible to three star despite having baby heroes. Let's get into it. All right, guys, like I said, uh, Despite what you look at down in the troop bar guys the first thing you'll notice or the first thing you should notice is My hero levels uh, we got level 16 BK level 18 archer queen We ended up six packing this war against fully max town hall nines Dusting off HGHB we know we, we know recently it's been working at town hall 10 and 10 v 10 uh, like a lot of attacks are uh, but giving it a try on this base, understand, despite, I know I get a lot of messages from a lot of different people from all over the world saying the reason why you guys are getting these triples, uh, in the, you know, in these, in these, uh, in these war leagues and in, you know, in these higher level, these more elite style wars is because all you guys have fully maxed heroes. That is not always the case. I'm 16, 18 heroes. We're gonna go ahead and see how I break this base down. Doing it, HHB, and this attack was fresh. I, I'm going to ask you guys the question again. Down in the comment section below, let me know if you think we're going to be swagging on this base right here. So, and it comes down to base and efficacy. Those of you that are constantly using uh, these cookie cutter style attacks where you already have your army pre-cooked, trained up, ready to go, even before the war starts, you will often find yourself failing than someone who builds an army based on what the base is calling for. So we see this runway right here. Again, this is a fresh hit. So we don't know if there's any Teslas in this runway, this empty compartment right here, uh, just to the right of the, uh, the queen chamber. But you'll see, you can kind of clearly tell that there, you, even with HHB, you can kind of even tell where the giants are going to path to, where the bowlers are going to go, where the heroes are going to go. Even though we lost three giants right there, we still have nine up, healers doing work. They're under raids. They're going to beat through that wall. No problem. We know the CC is going to be coming out any second. There it goes. We're going to go ahead and drop a poison. Look at these heroes doing work. Guys, 16, 18 heroes. You can three-star Town Hall 9s. Even with baby heroes, it all comes down to having the right plan. Hogs coming in up at the top of the map, up there at 12 o'clock, dropping down our cleanup nice and early. And you'll see right here, we do have two heal, we use two rages for the initial kill squad, two heals for the hogs. There's the first heal spell, guys. The base is already gone, as you see. We're gonna have these hogs clump up on this expo. They're gonna clump up on this wizard tower. And just like that, all defenses are almost going to be down. Giants are going to go ahead and walk right over that double giant bomb set. And just like that, and again, starting uh, the cleanup right after you, after you deploy those hogs is crucial. You don't want to have a time fail. Even ended up swagging a heal spell on this attack. Uh, but yeah, like I said, for those of you that do not have maxed heroes, it is still possible. It's all about base, uh, base identification. Um, I'll have it linked down in the description below uh, where we have I have a whole video designed for base identification and exposing weaknesses like we did in this base. Now we'll go ahead and check out the second attack I did from this war. All right, guys, so the first attack we saw was a fresh hit um we didn't know this tesla we didn't know what was going to be in the cc we didn't know where the giant bombs were this one's going to be a cleanup you're going to see i'm going to go ahead and pause it real quick uh you can notice how the heroes are split right here like i said uh this is a mini base identification video as well not only to highlight what you can achieve or what's possible to achieve at town hall nine right now having 16 18 heroes check out this base this base already defended one attack uh over here by the king um 
we already know there's going to be a Tesla farm. You can already kind of tell there's going to be a Tesla farm over here based on the fact that there's no visible point defenses surrounding him. Uh, something to look for when you guys are attacking a base fresh. Look at where that king is. If he's exposed with no other defenses pretty much around him, you can kind of almost guarantee there's going to be a Tesla farm. Uh, so you'll see right here we have two mortars side by side. Well, that's where we're going to go ahead and drop our two golems and not to mention our golems are only level three and the poison spell i'm bringing to this attack is only level two all the other elixir troops are fully maxed and our hogs are fully maxed at town hall nine being uh that they are level five we do have an exposed archer queen over here because we know the farm is over here by the king on the far right hand side uh, that means there's no splash defenses over here by the queen, only point defenses. Um, but it's kind of a funky base to Sui here, Lalo, because of the air defense layout. And we notice we do have a dead core, nothing but storages, so we can funnel the outside of this base uh, very, very easily. I'm going to go ahead and hit play and look at the work that this kill squad gets, uh, or that this kill squad does. Keep in mind, these golems are only level 3, not even maxed. Uh, fully maxed uh, at Town Hall 9 yet. Uh, no wall breakers. We're going to go ahead and jump in. I actually, I take it back. I brought four wall breakers on accident. I didn't even mean to bring them because we can go ahead and drop a jump spell right over the archer tower like so. Uh, funnel is set with just a few wizards and you'll see king and queen will be heading right inside of this base. Uh, level 2 poison spell down. Let's go ahead and take out the enemy CC. That was uh, a baby dragon and a witch came out of that. And look at that tight funnel that those three wizards set on the left-hand side. And look at the work that this kill squad is doing, you guys. Uh, we're going to go ahead and start our hogs off over on the far right-hand side. Uh, and we do have hogs that are going to be coming out of the clan castle. Uh, no bowlers on this attack. No witches on either of these attacks that you guys have seen. Uh, starting off hogs on the Tesla farm right here. And you'll see we did have one troll Tesla where I went ahead and dropped two balloons. Uh, one balloon took out the Seeking Air Mine. The other balloon uh, uh, went ahead and took out the Tesla. First heal spell down, covering the, the defenses, including the Giant Bomb. Uh, and that expo right there. CC Hogs went in and met up with the main group once they took out that mortar. Second heal spell is down right here. I went ahead and dropped the giant to distract the point defenses and the queen as the hogs are making their way through the base. Uh, but you'll see right here the skeleton spell uh, did not take out the queen. I, I probably could have waited to drop that rage maybe three or four seconds uh, so the hogs would have taken out these defenses while the skellies were taking out the queen. Uh, but at the end of the day, it is not going to matter. And look, the kill squad is still up. The level three golem still up. Uh, the level 18 Archer Queen still up. Uh, you'll see right here we still have pretty much all of our CC Hogs still left up. We do have a couple Cam Hogs in that group right there. Once this barracks goes down, you'll see obviously all the defenses are down. Hogs just taking out trash. Uh, they're going to go ahead and pretty much one-shot her right there. Queen is down. And we did, uh, just like on the other attack, when we started our Hogs, uh, we did uh, start our cleanup nice and early to make sure we did not get a time fail. Um, but yeah, I've gotten a lot of messages talking about, uh, I don't have fully maxed heroes. How can I three star a fully maxed Town Hall 9? This isn't fair. Uh, with the right plan, and like I, have all, like I always say, I am nowhere near like a Town Hall 9 master or Town Hall 9 god or anything like that. But I just wanted to show you guys what is possible right now at the current state that Town Hall 9 is in. If you have a good plan, if you have good, if not even decent execution, but always starts with a good plan. With a good plan uh, means you have good base identification. You can take out these Town Hall 9s. Both of these attacks were from the same war. Uh, big shout out uh, to Black Apple. Um, uh, FYSB did go ahead and get the victory from this war. It was a very, very close war, uh, but huge shout out to them. Obviously, huge shout out to the clan I'm in, FYSB. Absolutely love the guys over there. And usually I just scout with this account. I usually just scout a pair of Town Hall 10s. But we went ahead, switched it up a little bit. 
uh, where I went ahead and hit a Town Hall 9 and ended up six packing. One was fresh, one was clean up. Just want to show you guys where Town Hall 9 is right now. And if you have the right plan, you have some good execution, um, you can take out a fully maxed Town Hall 9. And not even with just uh, non-3030 heroes, but we don't even have fully maxed troops yet, you guys. Hopefully you enjoy the video. Hopefully it helps you. In the description, I will have... Um, I will have, it will be in the suggested videos as you guys watch this one, uh, as you guys saw, but I will have it down in the description below, uh, a couple attacks from the, uh, or a couple videos from the Talon 9 attack guide. Definitely check those out. A lot of tips, a lot of tricks uh, are inside those videos, but hopefully you guys enjoyed it. If you did, uh, go ahead and leave the video a like. Um, comments, questions, or concerns down in the comment section below. And of course, subscribe to the channel if you have not already, as always, this is Riggs from Clashing FFS, and I'll see you in the very next video.